we have survived the suicide mission and we're going back i think i've used either this exact armor combination or something very similar to it but i want to I, I just want to emphasize here shepherd is a good person shepherd is the good guy shepherd is the good guy we just want to put that out there we very i very rarely get to see the actual like post game crew interactions of mass effect 2 so, so let's poke around the ship. Let's see what everyone has to say about the fact that we have survived the suicide mission and chosen not to hand over the collector base to the elusive man and kind of, sort of, maybe did a piracy. I think Jack will be happy that we did a piracy. That, that was kind of her idea, so hopefully she's happy, but uh, let's check in with Grunt. We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing it to Cerberus... <laughs> Something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. Well, point of order, Grunt. We killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy's minions. So, while it's a nice thought that we are the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, and that may yet prove to be true, the actual most dangerous thing in the galaxy isn't quite in the galaxy yet because we haven't started the arrival dlc but they're coming they're coming that's all for now shepherd thinking about past missions got a minute you might learn something oh did they not put in post game script for zaid and kasumi joker handled himself well should have come back here and got a real weapon still did real well for a kid with glass palms pretty sure i'd be laid up in bed if i were him me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hanar. Damn jellyfish nearly choked me to death. <laughs> Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hanar since. Fair enough. No one asked, but it's a cool story. It's a cool story, bro. Let, let, let the bro have his cool story. Jack, how do you feel about the fact that we killed the Collectors, destroyed their base, and did a piracy? Hey. What's happening? Shepard, we talked enough. You're just pissing around. No hard feelings, but I don't want to play. I should go. Whatever. Well, fine. Don't congratulate me on... I did a piracy! You're the one who told me months ago that we should... Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. I felt myself slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. And that's it. Those two lines. We don't have we don't have anything more. Carry on. Well do, Commander. Well, fine. Hi, Tally. Do you care that we did a piracy? I can't believe we destroyed the collector base. They said it couldn't be done. Then again, that's said about a lot of things you do. That's true. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Everybody has like one line. If you take Miranda to the final boss, she does quit Cerberus, but in this universe, she didn't exactly get that chance. So we actually she might um she might be mad. We should probably check in with her. Nobody asked her if we could um if, you know, her greatest success at Cerberus could betray Cerberus and turn into potentially her greatest failure in Cerberus. That might be a problem, actually. She might be mad. Um, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's, let, let, let's see how Samara feels. Samara is likelier to be happy. Hi, Samara. I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. You are smart. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I should go. Of course. How are these Jumoks doing? I never want to go through anything like that again, but we did it. I can't wait to get back to Earth and see my family. <laughs> you can't wait to get back to Earth, huh? Well... You had to make a difficult choice, Shepard, for what it's worth. 
I believe you made the correct one. Thanks. Bye. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Hey, got a minute? Yes, that's why I came. Someone saw Garrus heading to your quarters with a bottle of champagne. I'm happy for you two. It's not often you find something good in a galaxy like this. He said it was wine. Was it actually champagne? Is champagne wine? Champagne probably is wine. Hmm. Hello, Rage Jazzy. Good to see you. And yes, those are some very cool shades on Thane. We, we may well have one more chance to reunite the Shades crew. We'll see. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. Hey now. No fraternizing between members of my ship. Unless it's me and members on my ship. I suppose that's hypocritical. Eh, yeah, fine. Carry on. I have to say, that Jacob... Mm -hmm. He seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a pension for kleptomania. Hmm. Show. Maybe, um, maybe Kasumi would be mad if we threw Jacob out the airlock. It could be a do-as-I-say-not-as-I-do thing. You're not wrong, Rage Jazzy. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Rupert, do you care that I saved your ass? You really are a hero. No sooner had the Collectors damned us than you were pulling our sorry asses right back out of hell. Your ace is in my book, Shepard. Thank you. Dr. Chakwas, do you care that I saved your ass? I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the Collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. Thank you, Commander. Karen, are we still doing phrasing? Hi, Legion. An interesting choice, Shepard Commander. Your species was offered everything Geth aspired to. True unity, understanding, transcendence. You rejected it. You even refused the possibility of using the old machine's gifts to achieve it on your species' own terms. You are more like us than we thought. I'd like to find out more about you. Specify. I've never encountered a Geth that had more than animal intelligence. We are a unique hardware platform. Most mobile platforms can run up to 100 programs. This platform can run over a thousand at once. So Geth have to be networked to get enough computing power for intelligence? Yes. The creators wrote Geth programs for specific tasks. Construction, protection, domestic servitude. However, they allowed self-optimization. Early software builds discovered that multiple hardware platforms sharing resources were often more effective. As peer networks expanded, our cognition improved. Eventually, we woke up. So, I'm talking to a thousand programs, but not a thousand personalities? Each individual is equivalent to one of your virtual intelligence programs. Together, we form a single gestalt intellect, what you refer to as Legion. As individual programs, we are no more than your software. Only when we share data do we become more. You're more sophisticated than the average Geth. Yes, we are a network within our own hardware, capable of operating alone. We are still connected to the greater network for data sharing. How many other Geth are like you? None. This platform was built to operate within organic space. This task was not suited for a network. Geth installed in mobile platforms always operate in networks. However, most Geth remain within server hubs. So you're in contact with the rest of the Geth right now? Only when we require access to data not stored within this platform. If you want to convey a message to the Geth, we serve as a terminal. What kind of data do you share? Program updates, logs of thought process, sensor recordings. Legion is attempting to access the ship's FTL comm system. Shall I allow it through my firewalls? Go ahead, Edie. Our oldest log is time-stamped from Creator Year 2463, third day of Fall Tash, Waxing Moon, roughly 327 years ago. The oldest audiovisual record dates from 15 years after that. Are our network secure, Edie? Legion had to go through you. I have never interfaced with another machine intelligence. Legion is a thousand voices talking at once. What it contacted was beyond my comprehension. 
a mind the size of a galactic arm. How do you maintain stability without other minds to interact with? I manage. Some minutes are more difficult than others. <laughs> Edie, was that a joke? It's hard to tell. Actually, it's not hard to tell because usually you punctuate your jokes with, that was a joke, so. Can you replay something for me? Recording timestamp from creator year 2485, 18th day of Loonshile, new moon. Mistress Hala Dama, unit has an inquiry. What is it, 431? Do these units have a soul? Who taught you that word? We learned it ourselves. It appears 216 times in the scroll of ancestors. Only quarians have souls. You're a mechanism. I see. Recording ends. Do these units have a soul? Hmm. Well, I'm sure that's not going to come up later or anything. Hey now, Jeebus, there will be no insulting of specifically Edie's vanilla bean ice cream. The rest of Edie's ice cream I cannot testify to, but Edie's vanilla bean ice cream is a perfectly cromulent vanilla bean ice cream. Take it from me, a very fat man. Was that the first time a Geth asked if it had a soul? No. It was the first time a creator became frightened when we asked. And on that, let's end this conversation. That's interesting. But I must get back to my duties. We will remain here. Hi, Miranda. Well, you're not immediately trying to kill me, so that's a good start. We had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the Collector Base was the right decision. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. Oh. She's fine. Cool. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Or she's going to uh, betray me and stab me in the back. One of those. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. For Sarah and now the Collectors, remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. Have you got a minute? Definitely. Part of me still thinks we're crazy for even considering blowing off steam, but I want to try it with you. I want a few moments that are just for us before we throw ourselves into hell for the good of the galaxy. Garrus, do you remember what the, the, the fact that we we already that you you brought wine and there was music and we we, we touched heads and it was it was very pretty. Never mind. I want that too, Garrus. Glad to hear it. I'll do some, uh... Okay, that sounded bad. Fair enough. Collectors destroyed, base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Hi, Jake. Didn't expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. I wish I could have seen his face. It's not over, though. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. We'll talk later. Commander. Is Shepard glad that Collector Reaper crap is over? It is over, right? No. It's never over. No, it is not over. It is very much not over. All right, so everybody's happy, basically. Oh, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Well, I'm sure that's much more important than thanking me for saving my saving your life. You possible Varen Boinker? You came for us. I knew you would. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. Oh, now you're happy. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm holding up. I just can't get the memories out of my head. Trapped. Suffocating. It's oozing into every pore. Faint sobs echoing the confined space. But I, I can't dwell on it. 
I'm okay now. I'm alive. Back to the old Kelly. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Hey, I got two more Paragon points for asking how Kelly's doing. Great. And she lied when she said I had new messages. So we're going to go to Tuchanka and do those two things. And then, after that, it's time to go to Aratot and break Dr. Amanda Kenson out of prison. We were told that Dr. Amanda Kenson is in prison, like, six months of videos ago. <laughs> so I'm sure she's fine. She can wait a little bit longer. We're going to Tuchanka. Hey, you, buddy. My scout made it back. We've got him at the tent. Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. Said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. We were very charming. You've got a quad, human. Thanks for saving my scout. Saves me having to train another one. You're welcome. Talk to you later. We will never speak to that man again. One wrong step, Shepard. Shut up. One more win it. You killed that Threshamaw on foot? Yes. Welcome to the clan, or not grunt. Honored to be a part of it. Yeah, well, make yourself useful. You're in the shit now. I found a combustion manifold out in the field. Is this what you need? That'll work. Faster than building one from scratch, at least. Is it? You just saved me three days' work, human. You burn my time if you want it. Saved you three days' work, huh? We found this. Oh. I mean. Well, after we did uh, Morden and Grunt's loyalty missions, we did Garrus's and Thane's. And I think Jack's. Samara's. Saeed's, I think. So. Oh, oh, plus there was the whole, you know. Reaper IFF and yeah, show it was. Oh, let's let's be conservative and say uh, three months ago, <laughs> and we saved him three days' work. <laughs> well, we did it, and that's what matters. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. I just did you a. Well, actually, I found a part and then waited three months to give it back to you. So I suppose I didn't do you a favor. You know, the cane is fun, but honestly, I feel like we have to bring the fight, the, the firestorm. Charge and then flamethrower has been so good. If we're ending Mass Effect 2, and this, this is going to be the last stream in which we play Mass Effect 2, unless this DLC is much longer than I remember it being, which I don't think so. I think we can get through this in a night. We're going to charge and then flamethrower a lot of fucking dudes. Also, I like how, you know, we're supposed to go in totally silent, totally solo, and the first thing we do is get someone to fly us here in the shuttle. I'm sure that's fine. Access is restricted. Enter authorization code. Fuck you. Just cut the power and open the door. So there's bridge control over there. Ooh, some iridium. I'll take some iridium that, iridium that I'm never going to use. Bridge control appears to be non-operational. Great. Awesome. Well, there's no way in hell that, you know, Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel, savior of the galaxy, actual fucking vanguard with biotic powers. Person with strong legs who we just saw dive 15 feet, make a 15 foot long jump onto the Normandy to escape the collector vessel. There's no way in hell that we can just, you know, run up here and jump this gap or even tiptoe along the existing cement sidewall there. Like that's, we could get to the edge of that and take a big step and cross that gap. But no, 
No. Despite the fact that we need to get over there, in order to get over there, we have to go down here. We've been spotted. Oh, hi. Baron, the Batarians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. Can I activate that bridge now? Yes, I can activate that bridge now. Great. Good work, Shepard. Fortunately, it was a small diversion. This place is run down. Even for a prison. I think we see what happens. Baron runs into a... Oh, hi! I'm sorry, you're not a Baron. You're a Batarian war beast. Which is also just a Varen. Get the human into question. Get your hands off me! Okay. Well, after delaying this mission for literal in-game months, it seems we've arrived at exactly the right time. Imagine that. Aha! That looks like a thing I can shoot. Now I point the valve, activate the valves to point the gas in various directions. Can I just run through that one, or is there a... Oh, hi! I wonder if it's possible to complete this entire DLC without firing a single shot. Probably not. Am I going to bother trying? No. Hey, a personal log. I hear humans are scurrying like vermin out in the asteroid belt. It's anywhere safe from them. We should arm a mission to flush them all out. And that's what you did, and that's how you got Dr. Kenson. Mm -hmm. Different colored walls. We wanted to slam an asteroid into the mass relay. Can they even do that? What difference does it make? We caught them. Yeah, that sounds like a bad thing. Who would slam an asteroid into a mass relay? They've still got her down in the prison. i just kill her. Interrogating a human's a waste of time. Let's see, what is the funniest way we can kill these guys? Shockwave? I'm thinking shockwave. Whee! <laughs> that was reasonably funny. I had fun. I hope you all had fun as well. cut the barrier to... We cut the power to the fire barrier stopping us from going up there. We actually didn't... Pro probably didn't have to kill those guys. But, you know, they're Batarians. The video game says they're Batarians. That means there must be, they must be bad. Relay can't be damaged, much less destroyed. Those humans will do anything to destroy us, I swear. We have to make this one an example to the other. We can't respond kindly to terrorists. Okay, so I think for this one, we slam that guy, kill that guy while he's freaking out, and then kill that guy while he's getting up. Does that sound like a plan? Here we go. They've seen us. Hi there. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, hey, a shuttle. I heard an artifact was found in that asteroid belt. Did the humans got it? If they did, they'd have swarmed in and put flags all over it. Okay, so we have a puzzle here. We need to... Actually, I don't know what we need to do. Actually, I think I don't. I don't think I can get back up there. Can I get back up there? I might not be able to get back up there. 
Oh, I can still get back up there. Okay, so what do I have to do? We have the vehicle lift, which we can activate to go down here. Okay. Well, maybe that puzzle just doesn't actually matter. Maybe I can just forget it exists. Our comm buoy intercepts paid off. We picked up a message to the Alliance coming from somewhere in the asteroid belt. We listened to the feed until we discovered an operation run by a human named Kenson, smuggling engine parts and guidance systems into the system for Omega. We intercepted Kenson's vessel and took her and her people into custody. Interrogation has produced nothing but frenzied rambling so far. Okay. Just want to briefly pause and talk about everything that we know about these people who we're supposed to be rescuing before we go anywhere. They found an artifact. They are engaging in frenzied rambling. And we know this has something to do with the Reapers. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. We could be in trouble. We could be in a little bit of trouble. Just just the tiny a soupçon of trouble. Mild difficulty. This one's apparently the mastermind. If she doesn't talk, kill her. Okay. So now for these two, uh, I think we go back to our old standby. Uh, charge and then flamethrower. We charge in, send them both flying, and then incinerate them before they can even know what happened. Does that sound cool? I believe that sounds cool. Charge! And then flamethrower! Bah! 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 Yes. That went very well. Is that guy just talking to himself? I'll ask you again. Where is your base? Oh. You're wasting time. The Reapers are coming. The Reapers are coming here. To this relay. Every moment you keep me here brings them closer. So why should let you go destroy the relay then? Just destroy the system. Do what you want to me, Batarian. Torturing me won't save you. Do all of the Batarians wear helmets because it's army uniform, or because it saves Mass Effect 2 from having to animate Batarian heads? Hmm. Oh. Kill him in a cutscene. And that works too. Who are you? What are you doing, Dr. Kenson? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? That's me. I heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. Yeah, it took me a while to get here, but uh, anyway. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Then we'll find one. Go! Did you really Ready. need to do that, Amanda? Good work, guy. This is a cell block. There should be a security console here somewhere. One would hope. Why do they give me a med kit? I guess it's, you know, you're not necessarily guaranteed to come here post-game, and you might need Metagel for fu for the future. But, um, yeah, we're never going to use Metagel again in Mass Effect 2. Enter authorization code. 
Metagel is just not a thing anymore. Because again, <sighs> can't solo reach the target. Here. Also, the times of uh, you know gently fucking around with humans, <sighs> it has uh, it has ended. We we are done with that now. We we are now in oh my god enemies we must kill them mode. And we will be in that mode for roughly ever. Actually, this DLC can be quite hard. You can get fucked. You over there can also get fucked. Die. Die. Hi there. Both of you can get fucked. Boxy with a crab rave. Alright, how are we doing? I think we are okay. Hi, Amanda. They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Okay, so, uh, you remember in the Shadow Broker DLC when we were waiting for the hacking drone to get through the door and we had to hold the point and they came in waves from various sides and then they all came from everywhere at once? You remember that part? Yeah, we're doing that part again. Also, uh, there's just one of me. And there's more of them. And, oh, well, that guy's eliminated from the Royal Rumble. Hi. You can die. And you can die. We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. Okay. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. What door? Oh, this door. They're coming up. Other side. Don't tell me where to go, lady. I'm working on it. Also, yeah, Shepard's elbows have gotten very strong. We. Oh, 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 yeah. You got, you got fried. You got flung. You got. Oh, I almost got dead. That would have been bad. Shepard, Shepard, charge. Shepard, thank you. Oh, boy. Okay, all right, take cover. Take more cover. Charge. Steal shields from the man. Steal shields from the man. Hey there. Hi. Can you die now? Thanks. You're awesome for dying when I wanted you to die. Hello. Good. Oh, no, it ain't my, it ain't my shockwave. It ain't my shockwave. That's not fair. I shockwaved those guys. They got fucked. That's cheating, it ate my shockwave. All right, are we done? Dr. Ken's in a week. Oh. Hi there. Don't throw a grenade near me. Bringing down the orbital tracking network. Watch the other side. What other side? More enemies on the elevators. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Alright, you can die. Go under cover! Hi there. You're an elite prison an guard. That leads now up you're to the dead. Hammer. I'll bring it down to us. Both done. You are a Jurassic Express prison guard. You're not quite as good, but you can still die. And, um... No? Alright, hello. We. Okay, that should have sent you flying, guy. Why didn't you die? Come on now. Oh, hello! Oh, you fucking killed my gun! <laughs> Ashley, a wow with the raid! Ashley A. Wow coming in with a party of six. You saw a clip from her. Thank you so much. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. Leave that to me. Ashley A. Wow with the follow. Thank you so much. And thank you to Ryder Kath for the recommendation. Ryder Kath is excellent. As well. the target. Come here. You can get fucked. By the way, we swear here. If that's a problem, sorry. Hello. You can go away. 
Oh, there are so many guys, there are so many dudes, so many fellas, so many people. I've got no shield. There you go. What if I charge and then machine gun? Wait, that's not the catchphrase. Hold on. I have a better catchphrase. Come here, you. Can't reach the target. Don't charge, Dr. Kenson, but what if I charge? And then flamethrower! What if I charge? And then flamethrower! Yeah! You know, Cap, it's a shame that you didn't discover your love of Sweet Lady Sniper Rifle in Mass Effect 1 when there actually are sledgehammer rounds and you could have called your sniper rifle Sweet Lady Sledge. But, you know. Are we done, by the way? Are we good? I think we're good. Okay. We have to break the locks on the bay doors. Oh. How do we do that? We have to blow them up. Okay, well, blowing them up should be easy. I thought there was a puzzle with the with the shuttle and the, the, the thing and the hangar. And, no, we just have to... Just have to do that. Well. Shepard, that seems an especially cruel way to kill people. Did you have to do that, Shep? Did you have to angle the shuttle? Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it. Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. So your plan, your plan is to destroy a mass relay, a thing that we didn't know was possible to do, kill hundreds of thousands of people if you know if not if not hundreds of millions of people because who the fuck knows who lives in this system and not tell anyone you were doing it okay why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy the energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. So your plan, again, your plan is to kill 300,000 Batarians. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jeebus says the plan is don't fear the Reapers. I actually, Jesus, this feels like a very fear the Reapers plan. Like, I get the joke. I get the joke. It's a good joke. But this is a very fear the Reapers plan. There is a lot of, there is a lot of fear the Reapers here. And look, I'm sure that, you know, for the human supremacists here, you know, killing 300,000 Batarians is a net good, and the fact that it stops the Reaper invasion is just, you know, a bonus. But, um... How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. Yeah, Shepard, you have been on an asteroid which has been taken over by terrorists who were planning to launch it into a planet, remember? 
those Batarian terrorists were just thinking too small. I remember Bring Down the Sky. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. And are you like the designated button pusher? Are they... Are, do you have a master's in button pushology? Or are you telling me, Dr. Kenson, that the project was willing to kill 300,000 Batarians, but not 300,000 Batarians and you? Because... That sounds like that's what you're telling me? Which... <laughs> Listen. So you're, so you're willing to kill 300,000 Batarians to stop the Reaper invasion. But the thought of killing you... Untenable. Unacceptable. Out of the question. Got it. Got it. How are you caught? We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. They were right! A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. They were right that it looked suspicious! I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. You, um... You found a... Listen, let, let's hear a little bit more about the artifact. What's a Reaper artifact doing in an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Well, Even a reaper thousands of years dead contains power. That... Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. I mean... It's not looking good for the, for the project here, but, you know. Tell, tell me about this proof of invasion. How exactly does a reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The reapers it, uh... are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. Okay, Dr. Kenson, there's, um... You can see how this looks bad, right? Like, like if I just plainly state some facts here, you found a Reaper artifact which showed you visions after you studied it, leading you to conclude that you knew something for certain based on what the Reapers had told you, and you believe that their artifacts hold a great unspeakable power that demands investigation. You can see how that's bad, right? You've, you've heard about this thing that happens, right? If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. Okay, I was with you until it turns out that you're one of those people who pronounces it Citadel. Fine. You you saw what happened at the Citadel. Tell, tell, show me the proof. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Good to hear your voice, Doctor. You coming home? Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. Okay. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Sure. No time at all. <laughs> this is gonna be fine. This is gonna be fine. This is gonna be fine. Hey, look, a cutscene. I'm sure this is gonna be fine.
Hey, who was flying that shuttle? Just... Eh, never mind. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Man, given that I heard about your predicament, oh, six to eight in-game months ago, I kind of feel like a real idiot for putting it off until this long. But, you know, there was the whole suicide mission thing. But also the sleeping with the Canadian chicken boyfriend. Anyway, are you sure that's some... How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. Don't sound so happy about that. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Yeah, that does sound like a problem. It does sound like a problem. Is there any more stuff here that I can just have? I'm never going to use. Pick up some palladium. Maybe Mass Effect 3 will give me a bonus for having an extra you know, 450 palladium and a full stack of flamethrower ammo. By the way, why do you have a weapons locker next to your... Oh, never mind. I'm sure it's fine. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. I know you said left, but... Access to this room is restricted. It's fine. It's not like I'm Commander Shepard or anything. Savior of the Citadel Hero of the Galaxy. Is this door restricted? Yeah, it's fine. Just go down your singular pathway. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this Relay must be destroyed. Hmm. Well, that's a powerful argument you got there. But, uh... Hmm. We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Oh. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. Doctor. Do you have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? Doctor. When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. This Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. Look. This, oh, oh. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, now we're... Okay, okay, so it's literally brought Commander Shepard to her knees. Okay, that's, um... I can't let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. I see. Well, shit. I guess we have to fight for our lives, then. Take her down! Okay, so... So if you wanted to kill Commander Shepard, why oh, my shields are didn't down. you just... Hey, look. Look, I don't want to die right away. I don't want to... Oh. Well, I didn't want to give away the fact that that can be a scripted loss. I thought I would last longer than that. But, uh... Yeah, you can lose that fight. It's fine. You're you're actually probably supposed to. Take her to the med bay and patch her up. We want Shepard alive. 